need to talk about what generalization means in the context of dog training. When we start to teach our dog a behavior, a very simple behavior, in our kitchen, we teach our dog to sit. Uh, we go through a number of different reps on teaching the dog to sit when he's in front of us in the distraction-free kitchen that he's been in a million times, or the garage, or the backyard, someplace the dog's totally comfortable at being in. And new dog trainers can get their dog that when they tell him to sit, he sits in the kitchen. But the dog hasn't generalized that behavior yet. And by that I mean, if you take the dog to a different environment, if you've trained him in your kitchen, you take him out into the garage and ask him to sit, they don't sit because they haven't generalized it. If you take them to the front yard, they don't sit. If a neighbor comes to the house and comes in and you ask your dog to sit, he doesn't sit because he hasn't generalized that behavior yet. In the simplest form, to convince yourself how important generalization is, is teach your dog to sit in the, in the kitchen and then just turn your back on the dog and ask him to sit. 99.99% of the dogs are not gonna sit because they haven't generalized the behavior yet. So the goal of every dog trainer teaching at least the basic commands is to get your dog to know the command in different environments under different levels of distraction. That's when the dog can do all of that, then he has generalized the behavior. That's why I say that when you can wrap your mind around the concept of generalization, you're going to be a better dog trainer.